Sweet Loaf, give Miss Pants a hug. So I woke up this morning at about four o'clock and you were downstairs. I was. You have been working so hard. Mrs. W has been doing paperwork and taxes for three days straight, like 14 hour days. Every year I say I'm not gonna file extensions and I do it every year. <laughs> So I, I wanted to uh, get you out of the house, take you out. We're going to have Thai food. We're going to go buy you a new dress. No, and... you can take me for a nap. Well, I'll buy, I'll buy you a dress while you're having a nap, and then we'll just have a, a nice day in town. How's that? Sounds great. <laughs> I want for Christmas. What do you want for Christmas? I want a purse that's big enough for a diaper and a bottle because now it's so small and this is so big. So you're, a, you're a two bag mom now. Now I'm two and I would like be a one bag. Mom. I want a one bag. Yeah. Well, we can do that. Okay. It's hard to find a bag for you. We had it took us years to find that bag. No, it's not hard. We just get this bigger. <laughs> I have to say you do look very beautiful today. <laughs> and so do you sweet loaf with your pretty dress on. <laughs> two peas in a pod. <laughs> ready? Are you ready to eat? Always ready to eat. Whoa, that's fun, huh? Yeah. I am so hungry. This is a great idea. One benefit of eating one meal a day is you really, really enjoy your food and you get very excited when it's about to come. You want to try it? No, I'm not into fasting. So if you want to see the boss baby, just don't give her a mouthful of that. <laughs> oh goodness. Are you, oh you're answering the boss baby now. She knows. <laughs> Ooh, delicious. I'm Look at that. back with the rolls and the extra plate. Fried rice. Okay, this is drunken noodle here. So I had her bring me out the, I will break the hot sauce here. This is the hot oil. We'll try, it's pretty spicy the way it is here. Jack, you wanna try some? No. Let me put a, let me put a, a good scoop of that on there. Cause when, I mean, when you're talking hot, the ties, they know hot. Give it another go. I'll get some of the peppers on there. I mean, it's it's hot. Every time I, we come to these Thai places, I ask them for this, like the wicked hot. But I can't say they've ever brought me one that I like. I couldn't deal with it. It's, it's I mean, it's hot, but it's not. It's not that hot. But you really like hot. I just asked Jack if the sweet loaf was buckled in, and he said kind of. What is this? She hasn't been in her cage yet. What do you think of that? How is that? One video you're making baby cages next to wrestling children. What next? Well, I don't think she's getting out of there. You'll never guess where I found the sweet loaf. Sleeping? <gasps> oh! <laughs> it's your first time up there, isn't it? It's your first time up there. <laughs> Did you like it? Uh. I'm, well, she liked it until you came in. Uh, you. Wow. Oops. Mama. <laughs> I didn't get my feet on the cushions, but should we take your bib off? I think you're probably done eating, huh? Much to your chagrin. Who's a baby who likes to eat? Can you say mama? Or you could clap one of the two. Could you say papa? Papa. Dad, dad, dad. Can you say, mama wants a new dress? El Camino. Are you ready for town, Sweet Loaf? Jiggy, 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 All right. Jiggy, jiggy. I'm gonna carry you like 24 pounds of dead weight. She doesn't. She's not old enough where she hangs on and helps at all. She just and then she and then she cantilevers out, which makes her weigh like 70 pounds. Don't you? But you don't do it on purpose. Can you clap and clap? Yes, that's right. You're smart. Smart. Don't don't grab my sunglasses. 
Pretty good, Mrs. W. Not bad for an old married lady. <laughs> You're not bad for an old married man yourself. You want me to pick one out for you, or are you going to pick out your own? How about if we see what looks good? How about I go in and surprise you? You do it a lot. <laughs> Let's see if we can find something together. Okay. So you don't know this, but yesterday's Manly Manners spoke to this, said that man should go shopping with his wife. And it did admit that it was a nuisance, but you should do it anyway. I'm sorry, I'm a nuisance. So, <laughs> no, not the wife, the shopping part of it. Oh, that's true. You like shopping more than I do, though. No. Yes. You know what, baby girl? I don't think Mama can get a dress without you getting one, too. How's that look? That work for you? Is that cute? Should we try it on? Yes. She's so funny. So we have made such a fuss and been big cheerleaders. Every time she does the smallest thing, now she claps. Every time she sits. You gonna get it? You gonna get the camera? So close. You might just skip crawling and just start walking, huh? Howdy, Jack. <laughs> Cody, you can't say that. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Looking good. Sometimes someone just gets something right. I want that for Christmas. Sorry. I can take. You're getting you. socks. I can take you for a ride. That is. I think that's the new Ducati Scrambler. There's a Swedish word that that is. Scottaglaja. No. Hobbyad. I want to have it. That is one beautiful motorcycle. The Italians, they do get things right. Food and design. Yeah. My goodness, that is beautiful. Look at the mirrors. That is super cool. All right, so I've been having trouble with my, having trouble with um, my back pain, back and hip pain. And I've been reading about it, and I think it might have something to do with having shoes that have really high arches in them and squishing your toes together, because the arch is supposed to... Hey, none of the boss, baby. The arch is supposed to be like a shock absorber. Absorber. When we build it up, it transfers... What's the matter? It transfers all of that uh, impact to your back and hip. So, hey, what, you, you want this? Sorry, sorry about that. Oh, boss, baby, how about this? So there's a brand of shoes called uh, Ultra and they have super wide toe boxes and they're um, no heel, drop heel, and no arch. So I'm gonna try these and see if they work. Mrs. W talked me into the crazy blue ones. I would've went for black, but... Marry a redhead, she'll drag you out of your boring box. Good thing I married a sugar mama. That's right. Sugar mama taking care of me. Shouldn't we have something about that uh, blue suede shoe song by Elvis? I don't think I have ever had blue shoes on. This is W. Talk me into these. <laughs> I actually, when he tried them on and liked them, I said, well, I think they're really nice, but I'm not used to seeing you in color. They're, uh, they're crazy looking things. They, uh, so the idea is if you, if you look like, I used to wear cowboy boots for forever and ever when I was younger. And for years, my toes were all squished together. So I've been reading about, you know, solving, coming up, or 
trying to fix back and hip pain and a lot of people starting to think that the shoes that we're wearing and squishing your feet up and cramming that arch so it doesn't move is transferring all that abuse up into the back so i don't know if it's, there's any truth to it or not but there's a finally a company making shoes look at those crazy things they're wide so your toes can move around in them and then they don't have any lift on the back and there's no arch they're just flat like chuck taylor's maybe i should have got chuck taylor's so my feet are so big when I wear Chuck Taylors, they will get clown shoes. Not that these blue ones will. But. You like them? Uh, I like that you like them. We'll see. I did tell you to get the brown ones. No, you did. I did you too. Like this the is blue all ones. you. I would have got the brown ones. No, no, no. I like brown the blue is ones. Boring though. Brown is boring. All right, so we had to. One last stop. We had to. Uh, we got to pick up some veggies from my pseudo vegan diet. <laughs> that was not vegan chicken I had today. <laughs> I think we have celery but we do need some carrots. You can never have enough celery. Should we get yeah. some carrots or no? Organic carrots? Do you want two or one? Yeah I'll get two. Two forty nine for conventional, two fifty nine for organic. Only that's when you different. Yeah, that's when you get organic. You wanna grab some sweet potatoes and some ginger as well? Yep. Alright, should we keep moving? Yeah. So what else do we What's going on here? You about to turn into boss do you baby. Want, like, beets and all that? Beets? Or do you just wanna wait until the Um Yeah, I think we have enough for tonight. That'll do. What say again? They're on sale for ninety nine cents, normally three nineteen. Kombucha? Yeah. You gonna make kombucha this fall? You know what? There's a lot that I'm not getting done with the baby and teaching homeschool, so we'll see. Did you watch the videos? Yeah. Oh, the last time that I went grocery shopping, I did get asked by a different clerk if if we ran a YouTube channel. I've, it's kind of weird. I've bought groceries from him a few times, and I've, he's always like trying to figure out, like, do I know this guy or who is that? <laughs> nice kid. Very nice. All right. You got the loaf? I got the loaf. Should have got asked them for the paper bags. You know what? We actually need some plastic bags. I try to put them back. Oh, yeah. Always return your cart to the cart return. Your mama doesn't work at the grocery store.